Hello, my name is Andre. I'm one of the partners of Lumering Inc., engineering company that's making a lot of fun, interesting things in access control industry. Today we're recording this video for People Systems YouTube channel and specifically are going to talk about access control, cables, Vigant, OSDP, security and many other very practical and interesting things that will make life of installer and service people way easier than it ever been before. We are making many different devices and systems in access control, but today we are going to talk about the wireless Vigant and what it is. This is a special solution that originally was made to transfer wireless signal on a long distance, actually very long and extremely long, almost unlimited. Though we added many more additional things to it, like relays, controls, uh, different sensors. So the idea that you have a remote end when actually this one when you have the door readers lock and request to exit buttons and head end when you have a controller and the brain of the system and these two things are normally on a big distance you may have a gate somewhere remotely you have the garage doors all of those things and in between you have to put wiring and that wiring consists of many strands. There is a Vigant or OSDP interface that goes there. There is also power, there is a lock, uh, there is a sensor for the door. There are many things. And this wiring sometimes is quite difficult to put and some projects it's impossible to do this. Imagine you have a retrofit for the construction project and it is historical building. So you cannot really drill these walls. You are supposed to get permits. It takes time. It can be very expensive. So what is the solution for, for that? You wait, you get all the permissions or you use virus vegan technology that leaves everything as is. No needs any penetration through the thick walls. It just transfers all this data wirelessly. So in a nutshell, this is a wireless gateway. It sends all the data that goes from one side to another and back. So as an example, we can have a small test. Let's go a little bit more into basics. As our system, Wireless Vegan, works with any type of the uh, third-party readers, logs, gateways, relays, here we have a set of the general access control reader and a keypad, lock, request to exit button. So all these are examples of systems that standing on the side of the door or a gate and all these wires supposed to be transferred to the head end where the controller is. So here we have Lumering reader and I have a general access control card. So what's happening here where I swipe the card through the system, it transfers the card data to the head end controller makes a decision that this card has access to this door during this time and sends a signal back. And you see, this happens without delay. So no delays, no problems, no wires. All this is happening remotely. So system works with any type of the readers, any type of logs and many more other things. Vigant interface or OSDP all included. So wireless Vigant system consists of two devices. The master device, here you go, that goes on the head end where you have a panel, access control, controller or any other system that controls the remote end at this side is the door, gate, actuator, anything else. This is the second unit. So these two units come prepared in a package and they work out of the box. They don't need configuration. Though you, there are a lot of other additional features for troubleshooting or fine tuning if this needs to be done. So where these things are actually used in real life? We covered a little bit historical buildings. Those are no brainer, any kind of big building, uh, church, you name it, so easy to put you don't need any wiring, you don't need any drilling. Any kind of retrofits, it's another option. There are much more retrofits than new construction. And even in a new construction, very often there is a case when some additions need to happen or things were not sought through. So imagine additional few doors need to be added to the building and there is not enough space in the cable runs. So now you need to put new conduits, new cables, no need, wireless begins, done. How far does it go? We have 
almost unlimited distance. Realistically, yes, it's limited by the physical environment because we have walls, doors, uh, different objects in between, but there's not supposed to be any line of sight. It goes through the walls. It has amazing penetration. Also, the antennas on these units are removable. So you can add the bigger antennas, specific antennas, directional antennas. All of this can be done. Positioning devices a little bit different, a little bit higher. It goes through walls, through floors, through concrete buildings. We tested them left and right in many areas. You're talking about huge, thick, ancient walls. It goes through them too. Even like on the latest exhibition on IC West, we were able to show it. One device was inside the show floor with very busy wireless jammed signals. And another one was outside on the street and they were connecting and working well. So one other very often cases is a remote gates, remote doors that are on distance. Construction projects, when things do change and the construction crew end up being cutting their own cables, no brainer, you put these devices, no need for any cables. Further, it's unlimited amount of different type of installations that can happen. Elevator shafts, if you want to add access control, just reader to the elevator. There is no place to add wires. You need to put another travel cable that's extremely expensive. You can put wireless vegan, one inside the cabin, another anywhere in the shaft or nearby, and it goes. You're talking about 30, 40 floors, it's also possible. So unlimited amount of different use cases and many more things to be done with it. There are more use cases in different type of industries and setups like automation, smart buildings, smart cities, uh, parking lots, different places when you need to get low voltage signal to the distance. Uh, we have a lot of installation in production and manufacturing and those are not even the access control ones. That's where relay needs to be sent on a distance. So you can call these things as a wireless relay. It has such capability also. By the way, we can also transfer other protocols, not just OSDP, because OSDP runs on RS-485 bus, and we can tra transfer those protocols also, though that's another topic of discussion, and there are a lot of very interesting things in OSDP world, RS-485, and Vigand. As we were talking here about the cable and helping with the issues we, that cable runs can bring, we are actually working on making additional separate video that will talk about different type of installations, issues, and specifically vegan cabling and OSDP cabling. Because as we see, both technologies will coexist for a while. Access control is not an industry that changes in a dime. There are installations that are there already and there are cables that will stay there. Sometimes you can reuse current uh, cable uh, that was used for vegan for SDP. Sometimes you can't. Really, when we're talking about SDP, it is another protocol that lights under it is RS-485. And there are a lot of interesting things there and specific ways how you're supposed to lay it out, configure, terminate and do all that. Security and uh, hacking and many more uh, uh, details are there. So we're working on this additional video with the People Systems and uh, we are open to hear your feedback, what you really like to hear in that, what should we cover, uh, how far should we go into different type of ways how the system can be compromised, how the system can be uh, changed or used for other purposes. Though almost all of these things can be fixed with a wireless vegan system because there is no way to get to the cable where it doesn't exist. It's very hard to find the black cat in a dark room when it's not there. You can always contact me uh, regarding wireless weekend or any other access control systems. We love working with it and we love finding solutions for our customers, even very custom ones. And people systems are helping us to uh, connect to the audience. Uh, we're very thankful and we hope to get much more feedback and interesting conversations coming soon. Thank you.